Africa's Iron Lady refuses to yield. Simone Gbagbo took to the stand on Monday to strenuously deny the charges against her, which include endangering state security. Her defiance on the stand was mirrored outside the courthouse as her supporters turned out in large numbers to protest the trial. Simone Bagbo is not even guilty. She did not go on the battlefield. She's the first lady. When you're a first lady, you deal with social structures, not the military. She's nothing. She's just a woman. Victims of the dead, however, are keen to ensure that justice is done. We must have an apology for the Ivorian people. But when you tell me that nothing happened and nobody died, I don't agree. It's up to the court to decide what role Bagbo played in the violence, which ripped through the country from December 2010 to May 2011, when her husband, Laurent Bagbo, refused to concede victory to the current head of state. The defence has renewed its calls to have the case thrown out. The trial, they say, is a farce and is continuing to divide rather than unite the country. And lack of judicial independence, they say, has made a mockery of the court. The principal accusateur. The main accuser, the state of the Ivory Coast, is incapable of bringing facts or even material elements against these 82 defendants. It's ridiculous. They are being ridiculous. With feeling running high on both sides and scuffles breaking out, there are renewed calls for the case to be tried at the International Criminal Court, something the Ivory Coast refuses to do.